This is the story of the Cherry Orchard by Anton Chekhov. Once upon a time, Renyevskaya had a nice house in Russia, where she lived with her two daughters, Varya and Anya, her brother Gaev, and her servants. They had a cherry orchard, which she loved. Renyevskaya missed her son, who died young. She loved a man in France who wrote her letters and spent her money. Money was running out. Everybody tried to tell her. Varya tried to tell her. Anya tried to tell her. Lopakin, whose father was a serf and who made money on his own and who loved Renyevskaya in some kind of way because she was nice to him when he was a kid, tried hardest of all to tell her. Sell the orchard, he said, but she would not listen. She looked away. So life went on. People loved people. Yepikodov, the family's weird and clumsy clerk, loved Dunyasha, one of the servants. Dunyasha loved Yasha, another servant who was too cool for school. Anya loved Trofimov, the family's tutor. Trofimov loved his dreams of a better world. Varya wanted to marry Lopakin, and everybody thought they would, but he never got around to asking. It was all kind of funny and also kind of sad. It felt very human and very normal, like everything would stay the same. But nothing stays the same for long. Ranyaskaya's house went up for auction. Ranyaskaya didn't go to the auction. She threw a party instead. Lopakin did go to the auction, and Lopakin did buy the orchard. This was great for Lopakin. It was like the American dream, but in Russia. But for everybody else, it was bad because they lost their home and the servants probably lost their jobs. They looked away and lost it all. And they all lived until they died. The end. <laughs>